about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really as hi welcome back to my channel um, today I'm just going I thought I would pick up the camera and do some vlogging I'm going to be doing some work on my bedroom I just want to like clear it all out um, in my bedroom I don't know if you know but if you don't I have got it like quite grey dark I want to strip a lot of that out I'll insert a picture here so that's what my bedroom currently looks like. I'm not going to be decorating it in this video, but I'm going to be, certainly be getting rid of all the grey cushions, getting them all off, getting them put sort of in vacuum bags and just put up the loft, because I do definitely want to keep them, but I just don't want to use them at the minute. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to have, give the room a good clean up. Um, I've got them now actually. I will show you what I'm working with because it is a mess. Um, my whole upstairs at the minute is upside down because I started a little bit of work before. So as I started it, I'm like, I've just got stuff everywhere, everywhere. <laughs> so I'll show you what I'm working with. So I've taken all cushions off bed. This is all just um, bedding that is going to come off and that's going to be going white. This is an old console table that I've got that I am obsessed with. I am absolutely obsessed with, but unfortunately I have no space at all for it in my whole house so uh, rather than getting rid of it i'm going to take it down and put it up the loft for storage because i will definitely use it again um over here these lamps are the lamps that were on these console tables i've decided that i'm going to keep them for in here however i'm going to change this wall to white so that that sort of stands out because it doesn't look right at the minute black against that wall I'm going to change my bedside tables. I'm going to keep the same ones, but I'm going to upcycle those. And yeah, just get it all feeling a little bit fresh. I would love to get a new bed, but I've not found one yet that I want. So I will look at that, ignore all this state of the sheets and stuff. And this is all my old cushions and prints and everything that I've been taking down just because it's not my style anymore. Uh, so yeah, I really probably should start selling some stuff, but I'm not great at it. I'm not great at putting stuff up. But, yes, that's what I'm working with. Everything is just completely upside down. So I definitely need to get this room sorted. It's been on a sort of to-do list for quite a while that I just keep putting off and putting off. And I think it's because I've been getting rid of stuff out of other rooms and it's sort of ended up just becoming a little bit of storage like for my console table and stuff because I definitely don't want to get rid of it. But then at the same time, I'm like, I have nowhere for it. And then I put it under the window in here and it was just sort of, it was just in the way of everything so I just want to clear the room out of all the old stuff that I don't want no more and then start to think about what I can get for in here so I think in this video I'm just going to clear it all out get it back to the bones of the room as in all the stuff that I don't want I need to find new homes for uh, either in storage or get rid of and give away or sell some bits so and that's what I'm going to be doing in here in this video so I thought if I pick up the camera, it's going to make me do it. And I feel like I don't enjoy my bedroom. I don't enjoy it at the minute. Over on my Instagram, you'll see I very rarely put pictures up of it anymore just because I've sort of, my style has evolved and I've not really come into my bedroom and changed that. Like this mirror, I love this mirror. So that's going to stay. The bed, like I said before, I would ideally get a new one. But I just need to find the right one because I want to invest in a bed. And I want it to be something that I have and it can move with me because I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram you'll know that I do want to move at some point in the next couple of years. Uh, get a different house, maybe an older project house. So I want to buy pieces that I can take along with me. So I'm not going to just be buying things just because it's in style at that moment in time. I want to really invest in something. So yeah. I'm not looking forward to this task <laughs> but it's definitely something that needs to be done and do you ever have one of them rooms in your house because you've just put that much in as in rubbish you're like I just don't know how I would tackle this from start to finish so yeah I'll just show you me like cleaning it and faffing round and just trying to get it back to the bones in this video and then in a couple of videos time it'll be me painting the wall upcycling my furniture uh, and just bringing it back to life because you spend so much time in your bedroom so 
here goes nothing. Let's just go and sort this out. So I've taken the console table down. I've got all the bits. So I'm going to throw all them in bags um, and get them up the loft and keep them safe. I, I've put some of my old cushion covers and stuff that I'm not going to be using anytime soon in these vacuum bags. So I'm going to get that uh, all filled up and then get it up the loft. I've been thinking about the room itself, so as I mentioned, I'm going to paint this wall white. Um, I need to have considered what I'm going to do with the bedside tables, because I don't want them grey. So I just need to have a think about that, ignore the mess, I'm going to clear all that up now. The carpet, I'm considering taking up and doing something similar to what I've done out here. Um, and either painting or um, sanding down and staining so depending on what the floor's like I can't remember what the floor's like because this carpet's been down pretty much since I moved in but as I mentioned I want to get away from grey so uh, yeah carpets are cosy but I just think I would rather have um, a nice floor maybe with a rug under the bed so that's my thoughts um, that's where I'm at at the minute so I just need to figure out if that's going to be doable or not. So I need to clear all this up first of all. Once I've cleared it all, I might be able to pull up a little bit of the carpet just to see what the floor's like, to see if that's doable. If not, then I'll just need to go to plan B, which is keep the carpet <laughs> keep the carpet down. And then I've been looking at new bedding and stuff online. These are my uh, continental cushions that I'm going to get new covers for. So I've just found some nice covers. So I'm going to get them ordered for there. I've got new bedding. So this bedding will be no more. Uh, normally I do have white bedding. This was just a spare because um, I threw it on the other night. Because my bedding didn't dry in time. And I like to let my bedding air dry. So that I get the nice fabric softener smell. And then I'm thinking about potentially, I don't know whether I'm going to do it or not, but restoration hardware normally have mirrors at each end with the lamps. So I don't know whether that's just going to be too much for this little space or whether just to leave it white in the back. So I don't know. That's something else I'm going to consider. And then over to this bit, again, ignore the mess. These are all my cushions that I've taken off my bed. So I need to get new covers for some of them. So these are the co these are the continental ones, actually. These ones are just normal cushions. Um, this piece of furniture here is something that I got from HomeSense a while ago. And when I bought it, I bought it knowing that it had a little chip on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this all upcycled as well as part of my room reno. Um, and then get all this bit here sorted. I've got my TV up on the wall. I just need to figure all these last little bits out. But overall, it's making me excited. Just spending a couple of hours sort of faffing in here. Coming up with some ideas. Doing some shopping online. Or, or having a little look at inspiration on Pinterest and stuff. And Instagram. It's really made me uh, get excited for in here. Because like I said before at the start of the video. I've just been like a little bit lost with what to do in here. So... That's, I'm excited because I've definitely got a little bit of a plan. I need to change up loads of bits and bobs. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. So uh, I'm going to go away and start getting all this stuff sorted so that I can get it all up the loft. I just need to get it all planned. Get, ev get everything up the loft that needs to go up the loft. Get everything out the room that I don't want in the room. Have a little look under the floor to see what that looks like. And then start planning. Either getting that up. I think maybe a whitewash floor. How cute would it be very white company vibes with a little bit of a twist of restoration hardware because i love their rooms like i am obsessed with restoration hardware so yes i'm going to go and get started it's getting closer to midnight i tried to get closer to you drinking courage from my red cup now i will soon make a move So I've had a little look in the corner and it's floorboard so I can definitely paint. Um, I just don't know with the damage to them whether I could sand or not. I'm not, I reckon I, oh no, that's not a floorboard there. 
Uh -uh. So that is, I don't know whether that would just need replacing with a board. But yeah, I could definitely, I reckon I'll definitely take the carpet up and then see what I'm working with then. But I think I might definitely need to re replace this and then I could potentially get a big sander and stain these or whitewash them, I think. Maybe whitewash would look good. So yes, that excites me. But I'm hoping that there's not much more of this because if there is, then I'll need to get, think of another plan. So I've put all my things in this vacuum bag. These bags are incredible. I'm so sorry you can't see me, it's just because you're on the bed. But these bags are so good. Um, it just, comp basically all you do is put all your bits in. I could fit way more in this, but I've not got nothing else that I need to put in it at the minute. All you do is literally unscrew it, get your vacuum, put it on. And then screw it back on and literally look at the size of that. So that's a big massive throw and about one, two, probably about nine, ten cushion covers and it's literally gone to that size. So either you could put it under your bed, you could put it up your loft, you can put it anywhere and it's just a way to keep things nice and compact if you are looking for a storage solution. So check these out, I'll link them in the description if you are looking for anything like this. busy man the floor is all up it obviously looks crazy messy at the minute but I love it there's so much potential with it so I think I'm going to go for something similar to in my hallway and just paint it white I was thinking about uh, getting a sander and keeping it natural but the only concern with that is there's one piece here so I'm going to have to get, I'm going to have to take this up. I'm guessing there's been an issue in the past where they've taken the floorboards up because they've been damaged and then just put this down for ease. Um, however, I'm going to need to put some more floorboards down and I guess if I could paint, I'm not going to, I would imagine I'm going to struggle to get anything exactly like these ones. So I think it would stand out even if I sanded it all down. I don't know. Let me know what you think. If you think I could do that. I would potentially sand all these back to just a gorgeous colour and then stain them um, or potentially just paint white, I don't know, because the hallway here, ignore the mess of everything, but the hallway's painted white, so I was just thinking about following that through. Let me know what you think, do you think I should paint it white or do you think I should try and salvage the floor and stain it and then I'm going to get a big gorgeous rug under there. I just love it. I love it. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm actually really, really excited about it. I've got all my cushions. Um, I've got all the covers taken off. They've all been put away now. And uh, I've got all my cushions. So I just need to get some nice cushions, nice bits. So I'm actually really excited to get this room reno underway. So I'm not going to do it all in this video because this video is already way long <laughs> but I will if you are interested in this sort of thing this video will be up soon I'll, I'll start filming it from tomorrow um the whole reno getting all the floor cleaned up getting it painted uh and I don't uh, depending on how long it takes I might do like uh, a video just on the floor just to show you how I uh, bring the floor to life if it's something that you're interested in doing but and then I'll do a whole one on the whole room but I'm excited I'm really really excited um it is quite late on at night now I need to get my butt to bed because I am exhausted but I feel like I've had a really productive day I just love when you have days like this and it was really unexpected so yes if you like this video please give it a massive thumbs up 
if you like videos like this please hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed because i'll have loads and loads of them coming with this reno so thank you so much for tuning in um i am so sorry my whole room is a mess and everything but it will be amazing and it'll be worth it so i'll come and catch up with you very soon speak to you soon love you bye about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking well, yeah.